It appears as though investigators in Boston are closer than ever to solving a 25-year-old mystery behind a $500 million art heist, one of the biggest ever. Meg Oliver has the newly released video that could provide new leads in the case. It's grainy footage that could help crack the case. The FBI wants to identify this man who entered Boston's Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum the night before the grand heist, raising questions whether this was a dry run. Thirteen masterpieces were stolen, including Rembrandt's The Storm on the Sea of Galilee and Vermeer's The Concert. Law enforcement just revealed the two men who robbed the museum are now dead, but they're not releasing their identity. On March 18, 1990, the men posed as Boston police. The security guard, Richard Abbott, buzzed them in a side door. Abbott was later found tied up. The robbers pulled out the security video and vanished with the art. Former Boston Globe reporter Stephen Kirchin has written a book on the case he covered for two decades. The night watchman has somewhere in his cranium the knowledge of the identity of one of the two thieves. For years, the security guard insisted he had never let anyone into the museum after hours. He even passed two lie detector tests. But as authorities renewed their search for the missing art, old tapes uncovered a different picture. The video shows Abbott appearing to buzz this man inside on the eve of the robbery. He says he doesn't remember it, but I have to, I have to imagine that it's not just a passing visit of that person. It has to be that that person had an, an, a relationship with him. We tried repeatedly to reach Richard Abbott, but our messages have gone unanswered. Meantime, authorities are offering $5 million for information leading to the missing artwork in good condition. Jim, since the statute of limitations have run out, anyone can come forward without fear of arrest. Meg Oliver, thank you very much.